real quick heads up, guys. So, OBS is a truly wonderful program. Uh, for some reason, this time when I recorded it, it decided to mix all of the audio down to one layer, more or less. So I, I wasn't able to adjust the sound between my voice and the game audio. Now, this is actually only true for the first map that we're doing today, so... There's that, I guess. And I'm also just kind of naturally loud, so you should still be able to hear me. So we do the animat burst, and the audio's kind of screwed up. And then we do chapter 10, and the audio should be fine. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do at this point, though, short of re-recording Anna's paralogue. And I, I don't even think that I can come to think of it, because I probably saved over my save file. God, technology is awesome. Well, hello, didn't see you there. It is I, Dildry, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. Now, last time. Oh, boy, last time was a doozy. We set out to the desert to rescue our sister, Ember, but unfortunately, we were too late. The Mad King Gangrel puts her to death by one of the weirdest execution methods I can honestly think of. He pushed her off a cliff. That's not very creative, all things considered, but it definitely got the job done. Unfortunately for us, Ember is no more. We now have access to the Midmire, so we can head straight on into the heart of Plegia and take care of this, which is exactly why we're going to start today off by heading over here and doing this side quest instead. <laughs> I still don't understand why Fire Emblem Awakening in particular decided to put all of the paralogues right after the most serious of events, but here we are. Now, as I expected... <laughs> There were a lot of Tharya comments on the previous part. How did I know? It's almost like I've played this game before. It's almost like I know what you people are all about. Yeah, that's right. I said it. But <laughs> there were some actually decently compelling arguments that some of you guys are making. I'd have to look into it more. I don't necessarily know that I'd be using her. Like I said, we kind of have a pretty full team as of right now. That's the thing with lunatic mode, you kind of want to stick to a core squad rather than rotating people in and out and things like that. You, you use people like Libra a lot more on the higher difficulties and things of that nature, but if I ever decide to come back to this game, or maybe in the lunatic plus thing, which I did not forget about, I did not forget about, which reminds me, uh, well, well let me let me finish this first, right? I might use her in that though, because you guys did make her seem a lot more interesting than perhaps I was giving her credit for. Now, there are a ton of different comments mentioning this girl. Not quite as bad as that time I decided to bring up Odin. Now, that was a mistake. But still quite a fear bit. It would be kind of hard to pick just one, but I think that this one does a pretty good job of getting the general sentiment that I was getting across uh, from Wes. I don't want me. I hope I said that even remotely in the ballpark of how you're supposed to. And he says he... And, and they say, oh, people like Tharya because she's a good, bad person, which was generally what I was seeing for the most part. People like her because she's a flawed character, and that's particularly obvious when it comes to her handling of her child, Noir. Uh, and he goes on to say she has a lot of bad qualities about her, but there are some redeeming ones that her supports, like that she cares about others that she can sympathize with. And I'll buy it. Okay, sure. Sure. But... I still... The, the Robin thing. The Robin thing, though. That just grinds my gears, man. I, I feel like that was a little bit unnecessary. Personal. Now, as many comments as there were about being friend, TMC Nick 7 brings up a great point that I totally overlooked. Just as I was ready to declare Frederick the king of game, too. So, unfortunately, he shoots a hole in my theory here. Frederick's game isn't as good as Sigurd's, though. Yup, you got me there. You got Deirdre to marry him in one conversation. I will never understand how this is supposed to work in Fire Emblem, but I guess I could tie this into another one, because I did see a few people trying to explain the whole married in four conversations thing, which is always a treat. <laughs> I'm just I'm just giving you crap, man. I understand that it's probably not supposed to be, you know, real time or whatever. I understand that the game doesn't necessarily show literally every passing day. You know, one battle doesn't have to be one day. It's not very clear about how long things take in the Fire Emblem universe. But that said, if you want the other side of the conversation besides my ass pulls, Justic says, I don't think the Married in Seven Weeks is actually how it is. It may seem that way because of gameplay, but if you don't grind supports, I'm pretty sure there are some chapters that seem like they are set at least a few days, maybe a few weeks apart from each other. And that's true. I do know that there's something coming up soon that explicitly says a decent amount of time has passed. 
Uh, but then they go on to give some examples. So they say, like, after you get from Alistal to Regna Barrox, I'm pretty sure that travel must have taken at least about a week, which is fair, I suppose. If you're gonna... <laughs> I just have to throw this out right now. Probably shouldn't take everything I say completely literally. It's just one of those funny things about Fire Emblem, man. You don't really get a good grasp of how the flow of time goes in these games necessarily, unless the game explicitly calls attention to it. Kind of like Nick brought up earlier about Deirdre and uh, Sigurd. Well, it seems like one conversation, but in reality it's supposed to be the passing of multiple months that caused the two to fall in love. And I assume that in Awakening it's probably the same case, although, again, it's much harder to tell in a game like this because it's not explicitly telling us that X amount of time has passed in between each battle, you know? I did find this last bit interesting, though. They say, like, the supports themselves sort of seem like they happen in their own separate timeline, which is something that I mentioned before when talking about Fates during that playthrough as well, where it's like, you can't... you can't necessarily look at supports at face value because they could be happening anytime, any place. And Justic seems to be hitting on a very similar sentiment here, which I, I have to agree with that part at the very least. Bruh. Just bruh. You can't say that. And lastly, to anybody who may have forgotten, Rita152 spitting straight facts. Lunatic is fair and balanced. Speaking of which, let's get into that, I do believe. Just how fair and balanced are we talking? Oh crap, I actually have no items, that's right. No, hold up. Alright, Barracks, give me something good, because I am broke. Not a single item. Not a single item. This is... Oh, this is booty. Oh, here, Mary Bell. Oh, actually, no. Muriel found something. Of course she did. Finn's Lance? How did you steal that from him? He's pretty good, you know. Finn's Lance. Now, is that actually brave? Because it probably should be. <laughs> no, just look. In defense plus two. A fabled weapon, they say. But it's not brave. Talk about a continuity error. And how could I forget? Oh, Simeon Crumb. Yeah, Simeon Crumb. Let's start. I can finally have these two talk to each other because Simeon is already married. Now, I think I already explained this, but just... It, it kind of bears repeating. So... Crum, after a certain point, will automatically marry whichever girl he has the highest support rank with, and we want to make sure that that is Heyu. For reasons that will become apparent once we recruit Laura Bailey. Oh, there you are, Captain. Oh, she didn't even say Captain. Hello, Simeon. Did you need something? No. Um, no. Heyu's just looking for you. You know, come to think of it, I don't know why she would be looking for him. Not after that first support. Jesus. Hmm. Oh, right. The strategy meeting. Poor Heyu does love to... Bah! Captain... Crom, are you all right? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. I just tripped on a pebble. Gods, how embarrassing. I looked like you for a second there. You're really not the best with women, huh? No, I am not. <clears throat> it's because you're so exhausted. You've been working too hard lately. No. I'm fine, Samia. And besides, we're all tired. Such endless fighting wears on everyone. <sighs> Crom, you've no need to don a brave face for my sake. You can carry twice the burden of anyone. It's only natural that you're exhausted. Thank you. <laughs> you're so kind to say so. But in truth, everyone looks to their commander for inspiration and strength. An army is only as stalwart as its leader. The instant I show weakness, we're through. It must be so hard for you. Right. Not as hard as it is for Deltray to get back into a game with no voice acting. Uh, I'll be fine. And please, don't speak of this conversation to anyone, alright? <laughs> no, of course not. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> At ease, Simeo. And stop worrying so much. It'll take more than a few battles to bring this soldier to his knees. Oh. I know, you're the greatest warrior that I've ever... Huh, I just realized something. Hmm? What is it? I'm what? a way better unit than you. <laughs> you trusted me with a secret. It's our first secret together. Hmm. Um, yes, I suppose it is. Well... Don't worry, my lips are sealed tighter than a bear trap. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear Frederick cry. So long as you promise to take a nap before the strategy meeting. What? What? Yes! I'll just tell Heyu that you've been delayed. Really? And if I don't agree to your terms... <laughs> then I'll tell it the mighty... <laughs> then I'll tell everyone the mighty Krom was bested by a mere pebble. Right. That sounds like blackmail. Or I could just tell him about your stats. Still, I suppose a short nap couldn't hurt. <sighs> oh, it's so thrilling to be able to help out like this. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams. <sighs> oh, that girl has a strange knack for getting her way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know, Crumb's not the greatest. Well, actually, this Crumb is sweet, that's right. Yeah, I forgot how godly this Crumb actually was. But normally, he versus that Pebble, I don't know. It would be a close match for sure. So apparently, I remember one of you guys saying that Lanko and Muriel had a great support, so let's do it. <laughs> hmm. Mm, the moon is illuminated by the sun and a most curious claim, and yet, <laughs> hey. Right. The sun's light dims. Uh, the sun's light dims and is extinguished as it falls below the horizon. How then can... <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> ah, pay attention. Do you have a death wish, woman? You nearly walked off a cliff. Here inside of this tent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you guys are right. These can't possibly take place in whatever backdrop that these supports uh, would seem to indicate. You nearly walked off a cliff, he says. Gods, I grabbed a woman's arm. I feel as though my heads will never be Why, clean thank again. You. Apologies, I was lost in my reading. <sighs> Maybe sit down next time if your aim is to stay alive. Yes. If I had a heart, it would be racing. An autonomic response to danger, I assume. Very interesting. I must take note of this. No. Just close the book. No. I'm conducting a thought experiment and would prefer not to interrupt it. <sighs> You'd be interrupted. Woman. <laughs> You'd be interrupted permanently if I hadn't stopped you. Don't let it happen again. Hmm. God forbid I have to come into contact with a woman. <laughs> Assuming the sun does somehow continue to shine from me on the horizon. Uh, it is no use, my focus is lost. Shutting down. <laughs> Muriel and Lon Koo attain support level C. I guess we have to get deeper into it. That's pretty funny though. Ah uh, yes, Virion and Pond. So I'm kind of thinking this might be a thing just for the gameplay bonuses really, because these two, or specifically Pond, makes Virion semi-viable, I almost want to say. Like he can kind of be used if these two were paired. So let's, let's try to do that. There is rain, but the sun shines still. Strange. <sighs> it's called a sun shower, my dear lady. Quite beautiful in its own way. Please. That was not a question, man spawn. And do not speak to me without cause. My pardons. And here I thought that was a natural entree into civilized conversation. Ah, oh, well, I've met many a lovely lady who built up high walls around her. And I've surmounted them all. I smell your fear. Perhaps I will stuff and mount you in my ward. Mount me, you say? Well, if you insist. I don't think... Sounds like some kind of miscommunication. If it's your aim to provoke me, I accept. Let us fight and be done with it. Choose your weapon. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, a duel. How romantic. Then my weapon, sweet lady, shall be words. Really, I choose my claws. Oh, God. I'm a far better poet than a warrior anyways. Right. As you wish. Many thanks. Your graciousness, my dear, is without peer. Now by all means, after you. <clears throat> I know of you, you lecherous worm. Your transgressions are legend. You turn tail and left vassals to die so that you might pursue mates. The very sight of you causes bile to rise in my throat. I curse your name. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Destroy. Yo. There ain't no coming back from that one, man. No Vulnerary, no Omstaff, no Bifrost, no Valkyrie, no nothing. She just killed him. Uh, perhaps I ought to have picked daggers after all. You do know that we're on the same side, right? Yes. I have spoken. Take your turn, poet. Very well. Alas, I fear you've emasculated me. I fear no... <laughs> I fear I know no words with which to injure a lady. Oh, that was smooth recovery. And so I admit defeat and bid you farewell. <sighs> <laughs> Weakling. <laughs> Actually, that was way better than I thought it would be. Maybe all of Virion's supports are great. It's certainly starting to feel like that. Donald and Cordelia, that's right. Dumb to do. Dumb to do. <laughs> Woo wee! Sun is gold, them clouds is white. Land's far below, cause I'm in a fly. Listen. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm thinking this one might be another gameplay period, cause I, I kinda wanna use Severa just for the hell of it. I used her the very first time I played the game. And I thought it might be fun to try it out on Lunatic. I don't know how well that would really go, necessarily. Theoretically, she's usable. But why not have her 20% more usable in every category, as far as I'm concerned? So Donnie Boy just might be getting some. I never thought to hear that song sung by a simple villager. Huh? Oh, hey, Cornelia. Reckon you know that song, too, huh? <laughs> Any Pegasus Knight worth, worth her wings knows that one, Donald. But I had always thought it was nearly unknown outside the Order. Yeah. 
A lady visited my village, donkeys years ago it was, and taught me the words. I confess I don't really get what it's about exactly, but it's a rousing time what makes me think of bravery and valiant daring do. <laughs> right. Well, it is about bravery. It celebrates the exploits of one of the history's greatest Pegasus Knights. Huh. Ah, well ain't that something. Yes. Yes, she lived back in the legendary times of the first Exalt of Elise. She was his greatest knight and his most stalwart defender, but his name wasn't Marth. <laughs> she watched over him like the sun itself, swooping down to dispatch foes with her winged spear. The slow, heavy knights feared her aerial dance most of all. Come on. Come on. That's not Sheeta. It's not Sheeta, though. Her elegant blue hair. <laughs> that, that's all I'm waiting for, right? Her azure blue locks. And her wily ways were able to convert any enemy, but her name wasn't Sheeta, though. At night, they huddled together and told tales of a death-dealing glance from the sky. Shooey. Shooey, gosh, she sure sounds mighty impressive. <sighs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, she was, but she was more than just a warrior. She had the courage of a demon, yes, but the heart of an angel. They say the people loved her even more than she loved the exalt. In fact, for every foe she defeated, she won two more to her side with her charisma. <sighs> Uh, charisma, yeah, let's call it that. Golly, tough as a badger, but charming as an old fox. Reckon I can see why they wrote such a fine song for her. Well? They built statues, too, one of which still stands in the Elysian capital. I could take you there to see it after the war if you'd like. I owe you. Yeah, bet your gold teeth I would. Or, you bet your gold teeth I would. It's a date, Cordelia. <laughs> I think Donald's fun. Don't really get to see a lot of his supports, being that he is trash, but... Alright, let's give it this a go for Paralog 4, Anna the Merchant. Now, you guys already know the deal. We're gonna knock off the animations for this one, bring them back for the next one. Couldn't possibly imagine doing Chapter 10 without no. animations, honestly. Oh, that poor girl! Listen. Oh, he's not quite that old, I suppose. What's wrong? Hail, Traveler! Oh, sirs, please, help her! A young merchant girl is being set upon by bandits. <clears throat> We're on our way. She's fine. Trust. Oh, that's it? Okay, well, that was pretty simple. Not a whole lot to explain here, other than the fact that finally, finally at long last, 10 chapters after she would have been broken, but just in time for her to still be pretty good, we are going to grab up Anna. Now, in order to do that, uh, yeah, this map is kind of tricky from what I remember. So she starts in a terrible position, but we should actually be able to bring Libra in at this point. And I think he can really help us out here. I'm not sure who's going to be occupying that last slot just yet, but as I recall, Libra has a fairly good magic range, and as I said previously, he actually does have a slightly higher magic on Lunatic, which does give him one extra, uh, one extra range, essentially. Normally it's seven, but on Lunatic it is eight, which should in theory mean... Yeah. Libra from right here can actually just straight up pick up and, oh, Jesus Christ, this is night and day. These guys have a lot of attack. <laughs> That's right, 35 attack. I'm home, boys. Oh, crap, I forgot how much more complicated this game is. <laughs> okay, all right, so I think we're basically as good as we possibly can be here. We got Krom, of course, have to have it, but I have hit you here. She has a speed tonic, plus two. I ended up selling noise, Dragonstone, so I guess she's officially benched at this point. I really needed the money. I don't know if you guys saw that earlier, but I am hurting for cash at this point. Now, fortunately, I had exactly one straight tonic left over because it is its somewhat decent idea to buy them when they're available. You don't necessarily know when a battle's going to pop up on a tonic that you might want to buy. So it's good to stock up whenever you have the spare money. I had exactly one. I gave it to Frederick. I could have given it to Donald because he does actually one round the fighters on this map with it. But so does Frederick, and he actually does need strength tonic in order to one-shot mages, which is something that Donald just can't do. We have two swings of that silver lens left, and we may as well get some use out of that. We have Mariel, of course. Why would she not be here? Uh, she's level 10 already, so I'm really kind of hoping for a second seal at this point, because I gotta be honest, she's gotta go into Dark Mage at this point, because her durability is so bad. So bad, man. <laughs> 20 HP, 4 defense. Yeah, no thanks. I think the Dark Mage will help her with that, if we can get a second seal. We got Virion the Goat, of course, and he also has a speed tonic because, funnily enough, if he's paired with Pot, he can actually one round KO enemy archers, which is just, that's actually pretty useful, I won't lie. Not exactly a tall benchmark either, even 
even Virion can do it, so... We'll probably be making use of that when we can. Uh, Cordelia is Cordelia. I gave her the Killer Lance because with that plus Donald, she's exactly strong enough to potentially one-round KO fighters as well. And she also has a Speed Tonic because she needs that in order to double them with Donald's support. But other than that, she should be going. We have Sleeper Pick Dias here because there's a bunch of treasure on this map. I, I don't think I showed that yet, but trust me, there is. We have Libra with the men and the rescue. I'm not... I might be able to just kill enough enemies to make it safe for Anna. And if I can, that's what I'm going to do. But if not, we can always... We can always use the rescue staff, right? And we have Nissa. Because she can use the ward staff and the physics staff, both of which will be very useful here. Especially that ward staff. Five res. It's a little bit nerfed from what it was in the previous games in the series, but... Five res is five res. These guys are incredibly strong. Right. But what else is new, right? Awakening Lunatic. <laughs> you. We have business, you and I. Victor will be avenged today. Hmm. Oh dear, have we met? Hmm? Playing dumb won't save you, girly. Yeah, that that's more like it, yeah. The gold you net from the slaves will build Victor the finest grave in the land. <laughs> Careful, love. Prices aren't the only thing I can cut in half. Ooh, sassy. Victory, route the enemy. <sighs> Alright, so let's get right to it. So funnily enough, Sumia... Oh yeah, I also gave her a speed tonic, but funnily enough, she actually one rounds Myrmidons. She doubles them with an Iron Lance and just destroys them. Flat out. God damn, she's broken. We're back. <laughs> there it is. That's the Sumia I remember for sure. Now, with him out of the way, we can actually pair Frederick and Krom. Now, we haven't been using their support for a minute, but it's still a very good one. This is going to give Frederick quite a bit of speed, and he is strong enough, like I say, to just take this guy out of here. We had a little bit of leeway on that, as you see. So, we didn't need him to be quite this strong. It's good that he is, make no mistake. Now, with guys, we're going to take him, pair him with AU. She's going to ferry him around for a little bit, and we are going to trade Frederick now over to a hand next so that he can retaliate on a lot of those guys in that room to the right. Most of them are rangers, be it archers or mages, so we want to be able to take this hallway with 1-2 range, basically. Yeah, as you see, there's a lot of 1-2 range. Now, Heiyu technically, technically has the slightest chance to die here, but what would need to happen is this guy needs to hit her, this guy needs to hit her, and this guy needs to hit her. She can't be ran up on, basically, because Frederick is right here blocking the way. So I'm not too worried about her. We need to get very, very unlucky for her to actually go down here. No, not with Muriel. I should have had Pond on the left side. I feel. Because yeah, I have to go with I have to go with Muriel first. But yeah, you know what? Let me let me redo that. <laughs> yeah, because this is this is gonna end up with me dead. I can tell you that because what needs to happen is. Virion needs to attack from here, because this guy- How did I miss that? How did I miss that, of all things? That's embarrassing. Hold up. <laughs> Gaius on the right, my god. Okay, whatever. I do want to pair Gaius with Heyu, though, just for the simple fact that she can get him to the treasures really fast, because she's broken. Speaking of broken... Yup, I knew it. See? There was no real penalty for resetting. Come on. Actually, that one might have been even better debatably. Granted, she didn't get speed somehow impossibly. However, so what? She got everything else. That is Sumia. Sumia the GOAT. Now, the reason we needed to restart those is because I absolutely have to attack from this position. There's no way I can do it from the right-hand side due to this guy right here. Or from the left-hand side, rather. Like, I can't attack with Virion from here because he'll be in range of this fighter. Uh, not in range of the Myrmidon, so he won't die, but there's no real reason to take that damage at all. And he can't, he can't retaliate. Oh, he actually does die! 35 attack! I know I said that before, but... It's just kind of now sinking in just how ridiculous that actually is. Now, of course, we could do the killer bow for accuracy, but... The issue is that Muriel's really no better herself, so it may be better to just... Bite the bullet, roll the 80, and then I can... Confidently go for a 90%er with Muriel. So I guess that's how we're gonna do it. No dual strike from Pond, but we do not need it in this case. Yeah, rolling a 75 is just not really in the cards for me today. Let's go with the much more reliable 90. Thank you. And now we can kill this mage. But I don't want to use the killer lance here. Just in the off chance that that exact thing happens. No need to break that. Thank you. Alright, Donald does as Donald does. <laughs> Nothing new here. He's just a little bit too behind. Just a little, 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 little bit too behind on his stats to be able to actually one-round KO things on his own. But once he gets there, there's no going back. 
drop you again. Yeah, and we'll heal up Sumia with Libra. I think I was busy talking, but what do we actually want to do? Trade you to the hand axe, and we, we actually want to use the elf under here, despite the accuracy, because I'm not sure that she actually KOs those mages without. She definitely doubles them, and with the elf under, she definitely will KO, but the wind is very weak, and mages do have a decent amount of res. Nice one, Anna. Ooh. Now, the chances of her dying are incredibly slim. Although, she's going to be left very low if this hits. It doesn't. Ooh. Nice one, Anna. So, like I say, we just drop all of these guys at AU, because she is super busted. I'll take this level up. Anything but speed. Yep. <laughs> Even when she gets good level up, she somehow gets bad level up. But there was no way for her to die there, because the Barbarian always likes to attack Anna for reasons unknown. I guess technically because if everything in the area hit her, she would die. But it's very unlikely. It's very, very unlikely. Now, yeah, we did need Krom's help to actually take that guy out. However, it's pretty likely because they do have a pretty solid support by this point. And again, Krom has that nice ability to uh, jump in at a higher frequency. I don't really like where that... First of all, I don't really like Anna doing stuff like that, making me nervous. And I don't like where this archer move either. I was kind of hoping he would proceed to the south. He did not. Now, I guess at this point, we got to use... I kind of wish that, uh, <laughs> oh, Lisa had the mend here, because this isn't going to be a very stellar heal at all. No. And I would rather use Libra for anything but, yeah, anything but that, really. That's a little awkward. We can use the Killer Lance right here, though, and blow this guy back, because like I say, Cordelia rocks him. We saved that health on her earlier. This is pretty likely to go my way. Hey, Donny Boy actually jumps in. Knocks him out clean. That helps us out a little bit, I won't lie. Uh, these guys basically have no choice but to deal with this last Mirrodon there for me. And I'm thinking second versus same as the first, man. We can just go with the bless up. Hopefully don't miss. Fortunately, none of these Mirrodons have that annoying plus dodge ability, it would look like. Because I think our hit rates would be way lower. We can use Muriel, though, knock him out as well. Just getting some good experience on this map, not gonna lie. That's what I'm talking about. Now, who had the physics? Lisa actually has both the physic and the ward because I'm trash. <laughs> well. Alright, finally somebody decent. Mm -hmm. Hello there, handsome. Am I being rescued? Mm. Well, that was the plan, but you seem to be holding up just fine. Can you still fight? Mm -hmm. I can stand to open a few more rogues, sure. Or locks for that matter. What? A thief, is it? Yes. Locksmith, thank you very much. I like the distinction. Treasure hunter! But yeah, store chest, I'll have it smiling wide in a trice. And it looks like these bandits have quite the horde built up. Really? Oh, well then I think we're in business. <laughs> I like that, short, simple, to the point. Let's give Krom over, we can take this guy out with a hand axe. Of course, we'll talk about Anna in a moment, but she is very good, as you can see, her base stats are just insane. <laughs> like, 26 speed paired with Krom. 22 speed by base. The only thing she's truly lacking in would be strength. She actually has even more magic than Libra. And I do believe those are lunatic bonuses uh, being accounted for there, but she's level one, so she's got plenty of time to level up. And of course, you can level up infinitely in this game anyway, so it's not its not a big deal like that. It's not really a whole lot to complain about with her. Very fast, can use both swords and staves. Good gosh, she's a good unit, and her bear bonuses are amazing. However, her one and only real downside is the fact that she only supports the Avatar. Which means, uh, eventually her pair-ups become quickly outclassed as a result. Because she can't build additional bonuses, essentially. Other than that, though, I mean... These are her bases. <laughs> Honestly. And, she, like I said, she uses stats, so it's like... She instantly clowns most of your healers in sheer utility, because she can also open chests. If you saw there, she has the lock touch ability. Yeah, we'll drop you with Sumia. Just seems to make sense. This is the only one she can get. Between her and Frederick, the chances of that guy surviving were basically zero. And she does not die to this archer, however. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I did just spot the mistake. I mean, uh, no, no mistake, no mistake. Obviously, I just wanted to keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> Mistake? Me? Make a mistake. I thought not, but I will take the... 
in from Libra simply so that I can use it on Hayuk because having her back at full is, or, or rather having her much closer to full would be for the best. I mean, I could attack from over there, but I'd be getting bopped by this mage in that case. There's always the chance, though, that we can just dodge or like, do I even take 16? I might not. 25 minus 10. I actually survived. If that's the case, I'm not in range of this archer, so we can... We'll eat the hit to kill the mage. Yeah, that's how this is gonna go. We'll eat the hit to kill the mage. Yeah, unfortunately, Gaius doesn't have a weapon. But... It's whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll just blow that guy away. And because of Libra, we can actually knock this guy out. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I did the math correctly. And he's even gonna jump in, but we didn't need that, as you can see. Hey, you body bags this guy, surviving with the greatest of these. The greatest of these, I say. You can kind of see why she's broken. She's promoted, but she's almost about to get her second level up on the same map. Which is unheard of. I can probably... I can't actually... I can double him. I can double him. He's done. Speaking of double, I probably need to double heal if I'm going to do anything with her, though. So, <laughs> that's something to think about, I suppose. The rest of these guys are just kind of playing around with this last Mirbidon. I, I don't think I have a door key on me, do I? The rest of these guys can kind of just go through the middle here. Now, Vincent is a scary mofo. Look at that. 26 attack. And then five more. His total power is 42. Huh? I'm pretty sure most enemies at the end of New Mystery had about 42 attacks. So, just to put that into perspective... These guys are roughly on par with the end of the game enemies in that game. Well, I'm for, a, I'm for a fact pairing these two right here right now. There's no reason to do anything differently at all. Mm, yeah, we can have Virion go over to the right hand side. If we miss, we still have two more over there. Uh, two more characters to back up. Uh, two more characters to back him up, that is. Broken. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, Precience. So, plus 15 hit and avoid when he initiates a deck, which is honestly not too bad. And we can use Muriel to take this guy out once and for all. Let's do it. I am burning up the last little bit of my Elwin, but so be it. What else could I do, really? Mirrodons are just so hard to hit, man. I can have Cordelia come up the left-hand side, so maybe she can deal with that guy? I haven't really decided yet. Okay, slight change of plans, actually, so what we can do... We can give the concoction over to Hey You, and we can hit this door. I'm actually gonna send her through the middle, like so. So if I move her in here, she can at the very least kill two or three. Well, we have to block the archer. That's not a, that's not a question. We actually have to. But can she survive all three? If she were at, what would she be at? Plus nine is 33. So no, if Frederick is that full, he'll survive relatively easily. We can throw him out there, give him the hand axe. And unfortunately, we only have the elixir. I'm actually gonna let this thief go, by the way, because if I kill him after he opens up a chest for me, that means I don't have to do it myself. Uh, anyways, Frederick, here is here is fine. We don't need to be any closer than this, really, but this will do the job. And we'll leave him with the hand axe over anything else for the simple fact that I'll have more accuracy on the barbarian as he comes. Yeah, I really... That was a bit of a waste. He should have had a much less valuable healing item. Without a doubt. But we can heal AU. Uh, I should have taken Geist just then, I think. But that's fine. Yeah, once again, though, we still can't really... We can't go into range of that mage as well, because we didn't ever end up barriering for AU. So we just kind of have to... Take it a little bit slow there. We're going to protect Anna, though. We know that much. That seems to be a pretty safe bet, I would assume. It's a route map, so it's not like we're in that big of a hurry. We just gotta kill everything, no matter what. Yeah, I cannot believe that those guys do 20 to her <laughs> with her defense. Speed res of all things. Okay, we take those. He doesn't even hit Fred, naturally. And of course, again, same thing as earlier. Frederick can't technically one round those fighters. However, nice. Well, now he can. However, if Sumia wants to jump in, we can, and since they're married, that's like a 70% chance per swing. Very likely stuff. 
Here comes the mirror down and the mage, both of which are gonna die. You think the boss moves? In fact, the boss does move, otherwise his rage would be sealed. So, this is very bad, I would say. Alright, we move our back lines in a little bit. Cordelia, get ready to 1v1 this clown. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty safe bet, I would assume. So let's go for it. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> oh, she just dies to that? Oh my god, I didn't even think to check because... What Pegasus Knight gets one shot by magic? Jesus Christ, Cordelia. <laughs> That's what I get! Yep, I'm so dumb, this guy had magic plus two last time, didn't he? Yeah, because he can't kill me now. I'm, I'm so sure, if he kills me again, you'll never hear from me again. Playthrough over. <laughs> Said, since we didn't screw up nearly as horribly this time, it's a pretty safe option to just go... <gasps> What an awful game! <laughs> Who likes this? You guys like this? You guys seriously play this for fun? Straight. Oh, nice one, Lever. HP magic speed. That's a very good first one for sure. Now, let's see what we got here. Nice one, Lisa. So I screwed up here. I need Hey You to be paired with Krom. Because if so, she can double the boss. So I'm actually just gonna wait and allow that to happen. I. I need to be able to double the boss, I do believe. Well, I can double this thief. I might have to. I kind of screwed up with this. Well, we can still catch him. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna take Krom now. But I can double the boss. Pretty pretty easily, in fact. And it might look like Libra's in danger. He is not. He's not getting doubled. Good night. I told you he was fine. Not a chance. We still had a little bit of barrier staff keeping us safe. We should probably kill the boss, honestly. Stand no chance. I'm a conqueror by name and a conqueror by nature. Yeah, okay. Couldn't hit the broad side of a bar. Goodbye. I see your face, Victor. No, no, wait. That's me. We're so similar. <laughs> I like that they made a joke out of that, actually. That's very funny. And it continues. So we're at about the point in the game where Robin is unbelievably busted. Oh, I, I kind of screwed up here a little bit. I guess we're playing Kite the Enemy for a while because I do not want. I don't want to accidentally end the map. The problem is that if the thief dies, the map is going to end on the spot before I can do anything about these treasures that I have yet to get. Uh, let's use... let's use Frederick. Yeah, let's use Frederick. Now, honestly... He can choke that point for a little while. I guess we're going to do the whole unarmed stress thing because I really don't want to give up the items on this map. But that's going to involve leaving at least something alive. And I'd really rather attack from an angle where... run through that door. Yeah, I definitely want to be able to run through that door on the next turn, so no matter what, no matter what, we need to make that happen. 
And of the two, <laughs> let's be honest, who do you think survives here more easily, Anna or Gaius? So we're gonna go ahead and I could even ward Anna, just so that this guy does all of seven to her. Uh, at which point, the, uh, at which point the chances of her dying are basically zero. Yeah, so I can send Anna to the right, guys, to the left. Although if I'm gonna do that, I really want to drop off, guys, so that this hopefully doesn't take forever. And if I were gonna do that, we could do this right here. Yeah, Cordelia, I don't see her doing too much more on this map, unfortunately. So this is how this goes. Anna, come back to us. Cordelia can move all the way over here, drop off Gaius, and then Cordelia can also just pick Gaius back up, I guess. Uh, with Anna, like I say, we're gonna move her to the forest. She has a concoction. No. Am I in range? No, I'm actually not in range. So I guess we can just have Lisa do the healing. Save the concoction for a rainy day or something like that. Yeah, I'll just heal, whatever. It doesn't make a big difference. We gotta leave somebody alive, though. And that's what's gonna be tricky about this. Oh, well, we can have Miro get the spark these for once. I managed additional training. She always does that. I do like how that's a fair bit of weapon experience, though. It's, it's no chump change. It's very noticeable. You can literally see the bar move. Yeah, he's gonna take the arm scroll, but I'm gonna kill him immediately. They actually are going to come for Krom and Robin, strangely enough. Although, of course, of course, of course. They only care about damage in this game. Right, I knew that. So if that's the case, what we need to do is uh, uh, disarm Anna. We need to disarm Anna. So that the Mirrodon doesn't die before we grab the treasure. Uh, I can kill this guy with AU to get the arm scroll for brief. We only had the two thieves, so... If you want to do this as fast as possible, we kind of have to do things like that. Uh, Gaius gets the treasure. One, two, three, four, five. So Cordelia right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. So that's how that goes. <gasps> So that's how, so this is how that goes. <laughs> Whoops. It doesn't really matter who we give Gaius to. We just have to be able to chain him up here, basically. Because this last mirror done has given us hell if we don't. Although, truthfully... I mean, Pond doesn't kill him. And he should theoretically attack Anna because she has less defense. So I'm actually going to move Pond in in an attempt to potentially give this last kill to maybe even Muriel or somebody of that nature because uh, she didn't get as much experience this time. A little bit unfortunate. Now I know this is blasphemy but I just want experience on Lisa. <laughs> I know, I know, but that was 38 points. When am I ever going to... I don't really want to rescue skip this game, you know? So it's like, whatever. I'll take 38 experience. Thank you. Anna, get the treasure. And it is a pen staff. Not really the best, honestly. But, all that said... Oh, I guess I did the... Yeah, I did that correctly. Hello. Gaius gives the point of movement, so I did exactly as I needed to. So since that is the case, we will allow... Yeah, we'll just have Frederick do it, because Libra can still heal. Libra can still heal. He's a very good unit. We want to level him up if we can. And in the last chest, we get a killing edge. That one's more so worth it. And also that bullion. That bullion's going to be really good, because I'm so broke. I mean, let's go for it. Maybe we get some chip experience. We do. Okay. So she's one kill away from her next level. Virya. Well, at least give him a chance. He might miss, after all. Yeah, he lands his hit because he's incredibly good. Easily the best character I have. Yeah, seven turns, not too bad. Honestly, I think the biggest trick with that is just surviving that 42 attack power hit from the boss. Jesus Christ. I know we're like 12 chapters in, but good God, that is so much. I'm not kidding. I honestly think that those are some end game level stats from other games. 
That's just insane. Fortunately, Heiyu is very broken, so not too Thanks. big a deal. Thanks for your help. The name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the secret seller. Mm. Yes, I remember you and your 5,000 sisters. What? Oh, I'm afraid I'm drawing a blank. What? Huh? Oh, then I must be. I'm sorry, I thought you... Wait, what am I saying? I know we helped you. I'm sure of it. Ooh. You literally have to do that in order to access this side quest. Oh. <laughs> you must have met one of my sisters. Hmm? Sisters. Gods, you look identical. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a strong family resemblance. I, <laughs> I don't know if I call it a resemblance. Oh, and we're all traveling merchants. What? With the same name. Yes. Yes, actually. Our parents hated us. That's part of the secret. <laughs> Your family gatherings must be chaotic. Ooh. True, but aren't everyone's? Uh, you know what? You got me there. Still, I can't just send you on your way after helping two of us. So let me come along and aid you in return. I can be quite useful. You'll never make a loss with me until I guarantee it. She's not wrong. Except for those times that we definitely took it out. We got... Oh, another rescue staff. See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it might as well spam it. You can literally buy these in this game. Huh, and a... Yo, okay, so I am not at the best luck with my level ups, but I will not lie to you. These Annas have been kind of crazy. So, uh, we're buying this. I don't think I need to say that explicitly. But, uh, we can now fix at least one character, so who's it gonna be? Honestly, Sumia, come on down! Welcome to the Broken Club! And, just for the hell of it? Nah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll give Hey you the talisman. I think she needs it more. Only 11 res, not particularly outstanding. And, by the way, in case you thought Veteran was not broken, I just want to point out that she started that last battle at level 1, and she is now almost level 5. So, uh, yeah. Just because she's promoted doesn't mean crap. She's still going to be leveling up in, at an insane rate, well beyond that of what any of your other units can do. Now, as for this arm scroll, I'm thinking of just hanging on to that for a bit. I may or may not early promote somebody like Gregor, because he, as a Bow Knight, could at least fill in for Virion while he's still grinding up a little bit. And it could be useful to have a second bow user. And if I did, I may want to give Gregor the arm scroll so that we can stop using, like, bronze weapons, basically. Yeah, we can actually get those, the, uh, the bee support. The crop. Let's do it. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Are you in here? Hey, you. Hello. I have a question about our next move. Oh. Rom, is that you? You can just wait outside, I'll just be a moment. Hmm? What? Come on in, you say? <laughs> really? Gods, why is it so steamy in here? Did somebody leave? Ah! Ah. ah, there you are. I can hardly see a thing through all this blasted steam. Anyway, I wanted to consult with you on tomorrow's march, you see. Huh? Uh, is there any special reason you aren't wearing any clothing? <laughs> Crom, seriously? Rather than stand there like a slack-jawed village idiot, perhaps you could wait outside like I asked. No. But I, you. Oh, gods, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. That is to say, I mean, why would I want to look at you naked? You're hardly attractive. Oh, you're really not making this better. <laughs> Out! Forgive me. Right, absolutely. Straight away, I'll, uh, wait outside the tent. <laughs> All right, you. What sort of idiot blunders straight into the woman's bathing tent? Uh, um... I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. I misheard you. I swear it. I had no intention of peeping, probably. <sighs> <sighs> Just fine. Apology accepted. Now, what was so damn important? Hmm. Oh, uh... Actually, I forgot. Seriously? <laughs> I was hoping you could offer some advice on tomorrow's rock. Um... Fine, what are the options? Hmm... Well, according to this map, one route is the steep trail through the hills. Or we could circle the hills and follow the main road across the plain. I imagine either would work, but I wanted to see if you had a preference. Well... Hmm... I'd say the path through the hills... The main road would be easier, but we'd be more exposed if we encountered foes. Hmm... Right, that's what I was thinking. Thanks for the advice. And, uh, yes, well, that's it, I guess. So, uh, yes. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. And hey, you, I'm really sorry about the bad thing. I honestly didn't mean to catch you like that. I mean, seriously, who in their right mind? Out! <sighs> it's fine. Water under the bridge. 
Let's forget it and move on. Let's forget about it and move on. Forgive me. Right. Yes, good idea. So, I'll catch you later. Uh, no, I mean, I'll see you later. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's no way out of this for me, huh? Goodbye. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now, off to the midfire with Broken Sumia. What we really need, though, is a Master Seal, because she is ready. She's definitely ready. None of these Andas happened to sell one, did they? I... No, and it's just the two, so yeah, we gotta go on to the next map. We need a Master Seal. We need a second seal like nothing else. Muriel can't... She can't hang like this for much longer. Come on! Hurry! There should be carriages waiting just through the ravine. I have to say, I... I love all of the music on this map. Including this piece right here, though I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. Yeah, Krom's not too happy. Krom! Krom, please. Ugh. Right. I'm... I'm coming. Not because of the bath thing, but I mean, yes, I know, Krom, just... <laughs> Go! Quickly, we're almost... Huh? Damn! Yeah, it didn't take too long. <clears throat> Plegians, I knew it couldn't be that easy. They're right in our way. We must fight. And the music carries on through the prep screen? Oh, I forgot about that. I mean, naturally, we would get something a little bit more somber here, though, right, given all of the events recently. Emrin, she's... she's not coming back. <laughs> she's done. And yeah, I know about that one thing, but... Mm, we can just kind of pretend like that's not for real. <laughs> one of the worst decisions they made when it came to the story of this game, in my opinion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, we'll get there soon enough. Now, this guy does drop a Master Seal. This guy drops a Seraph Roll. This is kind of like that map from... Uh, Mystery of the Emblem, where there's a bunch of thieves trying to escape, and uh, if you kill them, they drop a bunch of really nice stuff for you. Now, what's weird is that the escape point's actually over here bus behind Mustafa, the boss. So, it's not... It's not as big of a hurry as you might think. Now, these guys way over here, of course, they have a pretty huge lead on you. But as for these other thieves, you can take your time pretty safely. Oh, he drops a Weirm Slayer. I kind of wish I had one right now. Sink! Okay, save. I really do love this track, though. It is just so... You can kind of feel the weight, you know what I mean. But if you thought this one was good, ho ho ho, you ain't heard nothing yet. Uh, so for that very reason, I'm actually going to once again explain the team right now. Because I'm probably going to shut up for like the first turn or so. Because this really is a good track. If you haven't heard it before, you're in for a treat. Now we got Krom because we have to. Hey you, because she's broken. Frederick, same. Sumia, same. Muriel, same, more or less. As far as tonics, though, I guess that's a more useful uh, explanation. So we gave defense to Sumia because up here? Where is it? Yeah, like up in this area, she can theoretically take multiple hits. I'm thinking of using her for this wave whenever we get to that point. And if she has the plus two defense paired with Frederick, she has literally 20 defense. That's right. The Pegasus Knight with 20 defense. So, by giving her the defense tonic, she can she can basically hold her own up there, no problem. Uh, where did we leave off now? We have Pawn, Virion, oh, uh, Muriel and Donnie boy, of course. They don't have anything special, really. Although, I gave Donald strength and speed so that he can one-round some barbarians by himself if he needs to. I gave a strength tonic to Virion because he needs it in order to one-shot Wyverns with the bless up. Nothing really special about Pond. Cordelia got speed because she friggin' needs it. <laughs> and defense. Because she can, again, she can take three hits potentially, depending on how the enemies decide to line up. Nothing really special about Lisa here. Uh, she can start with the... Hold on. Lisa can start with the physic because... Oh, I, I hate how the trading thing works in this game. I really do. I don't understand it, honestly. As many times as I've played this game, I, I still don't get it. It's beyond me. Uh, Lisa can start with the physic though, because we are going to be doing some fighting with Libra, and uh, that's why he has the speed tonic, because he plus Pawn can combine to KO a soldier. 
or not combine, but pair up to KO with Soldier, I should say. And because she's really good, I already said that, and uh, she'll be proving that an awful lot, I'm sure. Because her pair ups are crazy enough as is, but she isn't. She's not like a bad unit. I really do think she signs with the pair up though. She makes Hey You incredible. And Lanku, because Muriel needs somebody to love. So let's get to it. Hold there. Elysians, I offer you mercy. Surrender to me now and live. Hold on. Surrender. Sorry, I'm not familiar with the word. <laughs> I love Basilio. Mm. Amran would not have wished for this to come to bloodshed. Damn you. Don't speak her name. Hmm. Your rage is justified, Prince Crumb. But the meaning of your sister's final sacrifice was not lost on me. I suspect many Plegians who heard her final words would say the same. If you lay down your weapons, I vow to protect you as best I can. What? How can we trust you after what you... Oh, I thought he said bastard is king. He kind of is a bastard, though. Uh, how can we trust you after what your barbarous king has done? I think we shall take our chances with weapons in hand. Hmm. I suspected you would say as much. So be it, Prince Krom. I shall endeavor to grant you a swift and dignified end. <sighs> I love this theme. <laughs> Oh, of course. Yeah, not gonna be talking too much in the first, like, loop or so. Mostly self-explanatory anyways. Good song, though. What? Muriel! breaking my ball. What are those? Thieves I see scattered about. So they found our battlefield. How strange. I seem to have lost my train of thought for a moment there. They comb it for trinkets and spoils that scurry away like mice. Pa! We shall bring them to justice later. First, the Elysians. It's quite a beeper of a song, too.
Nice. Alright, so in my head, there was no way that, hey, you got hit there, but she did, so, uh, ooh, <laughs> it's gonna get tricky, isn't it? So, what we need to do in that case, well, we don't need to bail, that's good, because these guys moved in such a way, so as to allow us a little bit more freedom here. Now, you take 17 from 27 attack, so you should take, he, he dies, I think, I think he takes 17 and 18. Yep. Okay, so that's out. Although Cordelia gives one defense, so no, it's not. So what we can do? Yeah, absolutely. We pair these two. We move over here. We switch to Donald, who cannot die in this scenario. He cannot die in this scenario thanks to getting plus one defense from good old Cordelia there. And I'm gonna move on over this way with Hey You. The chances of her dying are what? Very slim. Let's see, if he's a 50, you're a 60, you're a 60, you're a 50. And every single one of them has to hit for her to die. Not to mention they have to attack her to begin with and they won't because she has less defense. Or excuse me, she has more defense than Donald. So theoretically, when I make this move right here, Everything barring the Barbarian will die. Correct? Yeah, correct. So I'm gonna move here with Heyu. Move as much as possible now. Use the concoction, and this is safe. It doesn't look safe, but it is, trust. Now Krom can knock this guy off very, very easily. And God, this part of the music is so good. I do love this track. I love this whole battle, really. It's, it's a very good moment. And we haven't even gotten to the part I kind of like about it most just yet. I think that'll probably happen in a turn or two, but... And yet another solid one for Krom. No strength, but he got every other important stat. He's better defensively, better offensively. Oh, I can't... I can't do that with Muriel, so it's going to be Virion, I suppose, unfortunately. Now, the respective on this map can be a little bit weird with the height, though. I'll say that. Yeah, we do need to use Virion here, though, because... Muriel literally cannot take a hit. And that's the thing that kills me most about not getting the HP tonic until, like, this map, I think, or maybe the next one, even. With characters like Muriel, and of course, Virion gets another banger. He's unstoppable. That is the thing with characters like Muriel, though. She is so frail that in a game like this, she literally cannot take a hit for any reason. And that can be kind of, <laughs> kind of stressful when trying to train her. Even Virion, I would honestly say at this point, is easier to train. In some regards. Just for the simple fact that the man can actually take a hit. Now we will re-equip Sumia. I did unequip her on purpose, intentionally leaving her disarm like that so that Frederick had a chance to not kill everything instantly, letting some of my other guys get experience uh, in turn. So... I think we did pretty okay on that. Krom got himself a level up. We can take out the first thief as well. And don't worry, it looks like we might be a little bit behind on some of those other guys. But as you saw, the guy on the very far left doesn't want to move just yet. And uh, as for the rest of these guys... Oh no, I, I suppose he did move, but y you know what I mean. He's not really... Oh, no, no, it was this thief that started closer to Cordelia, my bad. I was, I was like, wait, did he move? No, he didn't move. This guy doesn't move just yet. He's probably going to start moving right about now. Uh, this other thief, this Master Seal guy is probably the hardest one to catch. It's, it's between him or the Seraph Robe. You got to push kind of hard left for the Seraph Robe, I would say. Uh, but again, they have to escape behind Mustafa. There's no other alternative exit point for them, so we've got plenty of time. Nobody else is even injured right now. Wow. And I'm not going to burn the ward staff for that. So, Libra, sorry, man. You're not getting much experience. Now, this. I love this right here. Forgive me, sir. <laughs> and I'm also going to take the piss out of it. I hope you don't mind. Forgive me, sir. But I I no longer see the justice in hunting these people down. What? Yeah, why does this soldier sound so much more normal? 
I accept any punishment you see fit, but after all this happened, I just... I just can't. Huh? How dare you question your general's orders? You know full well the punishment for insubordination is death. <clears throat> but sir, these people are... <clears throat> these questions are not ours to ponder, lad. The soldier does not judge. The soldier delivers judgment. <clears throat> sir, I... I cannot raise my lance against them, even if... Even if it means death. You were there when Emmett spoke, weren't you? So be it. Those of you unwilling to fight are dismissed. <laughs> but I don't want to abandon you, sir. I cannot defy the king, lad. I know him well. He would murder my wife and child to set an example. I will accept the blame for your actions today. Now go! <laughs> Wait, General. I see a cause worth fighting for. One I believe in. Loyalty to my general. Aye. Aye, that's a good lad. I love it. I love it. They managed to actually humanize the enemy in a way that is first and foremost believable, second makes a lot of sense. These guys know good and well what kind of man Gangrel is, I am sure. And uh, I'm sure they're pretty well informed on what kind of leader Emirate is as well. So I like the fact that even, even the Plagians, even our mortal enemies, are willing to show some sympathy here. They're willing to show some sort of compassion. Of course, that doesn't mean they're going to stop fighting. Uh, not in this case. Knowing ex knowing full and well what Gangrel would do to uh, Mustafa's family, you know, they they stick by their general. They're doing this for him. They're not doing this for Gangrel. And I... It might seem like a small distinction. Because at the end of the day, we're still going to cut a path through these guys like no one's business. But... It's not a distinction without a difference. The fact that they're fighting is for their general as opposed to batshit crazy gang rule does make these guys seem a lot more sympathetic, in my opinion. And I think that this was a great time to introduce this as well. The, the, the timing was just right to have something like this enter the plot, you know what I mean? Tensions are high, Emeryn is dead. We're not getting her back. All in all... I can't help but like this chapter, honestly. I, d I don't normally fanboy over Awakening for much, but I do like this moment. This was such a cool chapter the first time I played it. The music, the, the aesthetic, everything about it, I just... It's well done. It's well done. Say what you want about Awakening, but... I think that when you get scenes like this, it's no wonder that it made such an impression on so many people. Just my two cents, I guess. Uh, Sumia literally took zero. <laughs> I guess defense tonic not needed. Uh, I can just do it again, and we can take this guy out now. Shouldn't be in range of you, no? No. Okay, cool. So by standing right here, this is a totally safe spot for Sumia. Although, hmm. Oh, good. She, she actually leveled up HP, I take it. So, I can use this as an opportunity to level up Libra. Hi. And then hopefully he gets HP, and then I can heal Libra with Lisa. And then it'll be a grand old time. <laughs> what What are you going to do for me? What's this? Not going to be praised. I got a log. I guess we know where the villagers found him, right? Yeah, we take you out with Sumia. I was just trying to think if there was any kind of reason to not do this, but I couldn't find it. Let me know in the comments if you found a reason to not do this. <laughs> Samia's gonna cap out so soon. Yes, and this is exactly what we wanted. I wanted to leave Libra in range deliberately so that, again, we can get more experience on characters who need it more. Don't get me wrong, I don't necessarily mind the idea of a level 20 Sumia, but... I'd prefer a competent Muriel and or a competent Virion as well. I could, I could pretty much do nothing with Sumia for the rest of the game and I feel like she will probably be fine. She's just kind of that far ahead of the curve already. Now here's the question of the day. You do 10 with your 27 attack. And they both have 27 attack. So. Provided I move you right here with the wind spell equip. I can just simply use up a concoction at this point. 
Wow, that. F Why didn't he attack Donald? I wanted experience on Donald. Yeah, I'll move there, equip the win. Pretty simple setup. Now, I could in theory attack this guy with Cordelia because she won rounds, and also this soldier will never ever kill her in a million years. But that would mean that I'm killing the thief with Hey You. Like, that, that locks me in essentially. There'd be no alternative at that stage. So, what I'll do instead is switch back to Cordelia and have her equip a javelin. Yeah, I know, I know the sparkly tiles. Whatever, man! And I'll equip this javelin. In theory, if Donnie wants to jump in, we can kill him. If he doesn't, oh well, so be it. Come on! Yes! That's what I wanted to see. I just didn't want to have to waste Hey You to kill the, the thief, basically. I'd much rather accomplish that with Cordelia. And once again, these two are going to go to town. I have no doubt. You ever seen somebody put in this much work with a two-might weapon? Wow, Fred didn't jump in either time. Some kind of glitch, I guess. What are the chances? 70... 70 per swing, so not very good, to say the least. Yeah, goodbye. At least we got the one. Maybe this works out better. I might be able to finagle a kill for somebody else, I suppose. And it continues. It just keeps happening. Yeah, actually I can give that to Mirion, provided that I can lower this guy to the point that Muriel can get the kill, which I should be able to do between Grom and or Libra and really everybody over on that side, to be honest. Yeah, the right hand side was a little bit stacked. Ah, and you know what? I didn't even mention what Ignis does. It does that. It makes you do even more damage. Because, you know, Heyu wasn't quite good enough without a skill like that. As you can plainly see. I believe it adds half of your off attacking stats. So if you're using magic, it will add half of your strength. If you're using strength, it will add half of your magic. Call in the reinforcements. Draw them close, then strike. Alright, there are reinforcements on this map, technically. Uh... Yeah, here's where we have to watch ourselves a little bit. Cordelia will die to that. She absolutely will. And seeing as now this is a silver axe, even hey, you may die. I'm not sure if I screwed this up exactly, but what is actually kind of a problem now is the fact that... Okay, so he's not going to escape yet. He's not going to escape yet, so that's that might be good enough, but... The deal is that... I could have very easily killed one of these fighters, or the, the barbarians, whatever. I could have killed one of them su with Sumia, bottom line. But this soldier is blocking me. But since, for some reason, they decided to make rescue unlimited, <laughs> I may just... I might just, like, rescue Muriel on over there or something. Yeah, Krom's Felchian's kinda lame. <laughs> really not too good on the damage, I have to be honest. Yeah, what the hell? They're viable. Why, why would I care? So we can bring Muriel closer to the action, have her finish off the soldier. Really good one there, Lisa. You know, at this rate, she's going to be the better mage. No lie. That's that's very rare. That's very rare. Even, even though I wouldn't say Muriel's the best mage by any stretch of the imagination, she's certainly supposed to be better than Lisa. But here we are. I mean, she's considerably faster, I suppose, but... Lisa's got the strength on magic by a ton. Oh, I love the speed, so now I can double the- Oh my god, Virion is so good. He actually became good. What happened? He managed to crawl all the way out of that hole by himself. I didn't need the speed wing. No, no nothing. <laughs> Only 108 damage. This just doesn't seem right. On the first part, I remember very specifically... You guys told me that Virion was bad. And yet, here we are. Now, of course, this is not a 100% kill shot or anything of that sort, but... I'll take 10 from you. 10, 10, 15 is potentially, unfortunately... A very dead Sumia, unless...
30 minus 17. Well, 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 what do you know? Yeah, so <laughs> we'll, we'll do this, but let's move in with Sumia first. She's not terribly likely to die, even if somehow Frederick ruins two 70s again, which I don't see happening. Yeah. But she, she wasn't in a whole lot of danger here. Let's just put it that way. So we knock him off. And yeah, there's the two thieves, but seeing as to how I'm 95-ish percent sure that Heyu just one rounds good old uh, Mustafa there, I'm not really worried. And I can easily give Libra the physic back. Hold on. Actually, what am I saying? Yeah, I can just, I can pair up, yeah. So it's fine, I'll heal Lissa right now. And then I'll pair her with Libra to give him the necessary magic needed to Physic for Heyu on the next turn, bringing her to the point that Mustafa does not kill her in one hit. Although, ooh, that's kind of a tall order, but no, we can get to 23, I'm fairly confident. If I want to make this 100% safe for Sumia, this is our move, though. So we'll knock you off right now. Why does it say that Anna has no weapon? How very strange. Oh, yeah, because I disarmed her on the last map, of course. Was this really necessary? I don't think that it was. And Krom could bring up the rear. Now, they were talking about reinforcements, but... Nah, not for us. We don't have to worry about any of that. We're just gonna pop this guy a little bit. So we can take him out with Cordelia over the course of the next few turns. He cannot escape us. There's no possible way. And I don't know if I explicitly called attention to this or not, but this is actually the beat boss for once. Not a route. So we're just kind of making our way over to this guy, Mustafa, as fast as possible. Yup, easy live. Now where I could have screwed up, theoretically, is in the sense that... Killing Mustafa from this position is actually going to be a little bit harder than I had anticipated. Now assuming that Frederick wants to finish this guy off... Come on dude, 70%? Thank you. Yeah, assuming that we can do that, though, we've only got to kill the two thieves, and then we are basically good. Neither of them can escape yet. Albeit... Hmm. Well, you know, as much as I was complaining, that point of magic does actually mean that she can one-round barbarians from now on, so there's always that. Uh, Krom may as well... Yeah, may as well. Not using it for anything else this turn, surely. Nice. Let's see if we can't stack more <laughs> stats on our favorite for later. So. I mean, I could. I won't, but I could. This has to happen, and killing the other thief also must happen. But aside from that, we can take as much time as we want at this point, really. It's just a matter of uh, style points, really. <laughs> So, let's see if we can't get Heyu back to a point where she can survive a round. And if we can't, what I can do is heal her, have her use a concoction, and then just stick her in front of old Mustafa there. Uh, I actually don't think I mentioned this before, but it's just kind of a quaint little thing. I do like the fact that Mustafa is like that honorable general stereotype, you know what I mean? I was kind of had a soft spot for that one. No particular reason, just... I, I just like the trope. And he very much is that through and through, clearly. I mean, bring him back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just bring myself over 23 health, though. At this point. And I, I did go with Muriel just for that extra little bit of magic in case my math was wrong or in case I forgot the healing formula or whatever. But we can easily get back to the point that... Mustafa. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> sorry to do it to you, but, uh... You know, these hit rates could be better. <laughs> Alright, what are the chances that I both miss? No, 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 no. What are the chances I both miss and also 
And it doesn't jump in. And also I get hit twice. And also I don't get ignited. Yeah, he, he's dead. <laughs> I am the General Mustafa of Plagia. If you wish to keep your lives, then you must win them. We're gonna do our best. Yeah, he's done. Well done, Elysians. <laughs> Please, spare my men. Yeah, you can see, even with his dying breath, his first and foremost concern lies with his men. Has Heyu gotten a decent one today? I... No, she must have. She has very good defense now, I've just noticed. <sighs> good level, good music. I like the story insofar as its emotional weight. I understand that they kind of shot themselves in the foot in some aspects with this whole thing. But it wasn't there when I experienced this game for the first time. As far as a map, I think it's a good one, honestly. As far as awakening standards go, most definitely. I had fun. Not too hard, not too easy. Just about, just about perfect. Oh, and then this girl, who is... Oh, you thought Muriel was frail? <laughs> Probably pretty shy reserved, right? C Con Basilio. Yes? Yes, Olivia. I'm sorry we kept you waiting. <sighs> when I didn't hear from you, I thought... I assumed the worst. Hey. Crom, hey you. Meet Olivia. She'll be smuggling us out of here. And she'll be your dancer. <laughs> Only if you hurry. Doubt this more of the Mad King's men are on their way. All right. Right. Pile in, you lot. And bid farewell to this Plegian hellhole. All right. Ready? Hold on tight. What did she do? How did she do it? <laughs> I have so many questions. But. Oh, it's going to explain. Thank God. I'm like, what do you mean? It, it almost sounds like she flew us away or on horseback or something. I, I Pegasus back, I guess. But no, she's a dancer. Trust me. <clears throat> All of that for nothing. Um. Oh, Em. I should have died before allowing the exile to be captured. I failed as a knight. So what now, Oaf? Hold on. Don't look to me. I'm not in charge. Uh, I picked a fine time to regain the full throne. I'm so oh, and we get a reprisal of Don't Speak Your Name as well. That is the That's the map theme, by the way. It's called Don't Speak Your Name. And this is a... Reinterpretation, I suppose. I love it. <laughs> it's been a while since I paid attention to the story, and I, I can't recall this track at any other point in the game, so... Forgive me. Yeah, this is a damn good one. Krom, I'm, I'm so sorry. My plan just wasn't enough. You did your best, hey you. You have my thanks. It's my own failures that haunt me now. God! I was just so powerless. <clears throat> it's not your fault either, Krom. God. She did it for me, hey you. So that I wouldn't have to live with the guilt of either choice she chose for me. She sacrificed herself rather than give up what could one day save her people. Krom. Hey. Listen to me. Look at me. <clears throat> All right. I was powerless once too, remember? Then I gained about 30 levels and now I'm unstoppable. You're not really helping the situation. Wow, doesn't that sound familiar? Uh, I... <sighs> and yes, alone. I didn't think either one of us is half the person your sister was. But together, maybe we can be something more. If you fall, I'll be there to pull you back up. When you fight for your sister's ideals, I'll be there by your side. You don't have to become your sister, you know. You can still be true to yourself. You just have to give people hope in whatever way you can. Still. And what if I can't? What if I'm not worthy of her ideals? Hey, you. What if I drag you down with me? Yeah. If you aren't worthy, you'll keep at it until you are. And if we both fall down, well, that's what friends are for, isn't it? It's a nice little pep there. talk. Are we going to get one from everybody? No, you've been around here for like two maps. Why are you the first? That's right. I wouldn't even be here if not for you. Just don't fail. You gave me your trust, and now you have mine. For the time being. Don't falter. Were you unworthy, I would have left you long ago. What a pair we make. It's a great courage and charisma to unite all of us. I knew I possessed such talents, but clearly you do as well. Right. Yeah, we all look up to you. You're like a hero to us. 
Thank you, everyone. Your words mean more than you could know. <clears throat> my shepherds, my warriors, there's work to be done. Gangrel must be stopped so the peace can once again reign in Elise. Will you help me? You can count me in. I'm tired of crying all the time. It's time to start punching stuff. You can't do that, Lisa. There are no fists in this game. Here, here, darling. Our people have suffered enough. Need a hand? Who am I? <laughs> Got you covered. Gladly would I fight and kill those dastards for House Elise. May the gods bless us. Our hearts echo yours, sire. Stand tall. I'll be the unbreakable shield by your side. She's not wrong. 20 defense. More than Frederick. Don't forget me. <sighs> Thank me later. Yeah, teacher's here and class is in session. Gregor is on job. How much you pay, Gregor? Hee <laughs> hee Oh yeah, this reminds me. One of you guys apparently said that Gregor doesn't have the accent in other versions of the game. Really? But that's like his thing, man. <laughs> that's what makes him so awesome. What a strange addition. They did get pretty wild with the localization of this game, though. You can tell they had their fun. <laughs> Grego make joke. Why you look at Grego like that? Allow me. Your sister earned my respect. The last tag well shall champion her. <sighs> You've grown too strong, my lord. I may have set a poor example as a knight, but I swear to you I shall die before any more exalted blood is spilled. Thank you. Thank you all, truly. You honor me with your fealty. I will not falter again. We shall answer this outrage. The Mad King must be stopped. <laughs> right, it's time for old Gangrel to get a dose of his own vulnerary. <sighs> that was so bad. No, my mic didn't cut out or anything. I'm just, I'm just speechless. That was really bad. Wow. I... <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take me a second. Uh, the whole of the Feroxy army is yours to send crashing against him. Oh, great. Ha! <laughs> you young folk, your passions run so hot. If I had any gray hairs, you would have singed them right off. I love Basilio. In other words, count me in. Oh, but not literally. I I'd like to go too, if I may. The Exalt did me a kindness once. Really? She did. <laughs> yes, sire. It would honor me to have a part in giving her justice. Although all I can do is dance. And I'm not so skilled at that if we're being honest. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> she's too modest. Olivia is a Feroxy treasure. You want me to find her dancer in all the realms. Her moves inspire soldiers to work twice as hard. You'd do well to bring her along, Commander. What? Commander, what happened to Boy? Alright. You've earned your way up from that name, I think. Now, where were we? Oh yes, I was just about to start cracking skulls. Flavia will lead me and the other Feroxy in a head-on assault. That should buy you enough time to take down Gangrel. You hear that, boy? You get the fun part! Still... I thought you weren't gonna call me- I lied! You would hate you have my every confidence. You're a born leader, and she has a knack for guiding troops to victory. You both have some growing to do yet, but I can already see you grow tall. <laughs> Thanks, Basilio. All right, enough talk. It's time to raise some hell. Yes. Right. Hmm. Let's get to it then. Gangrel may try to hit us while we're still licking our wounds. Right. Let him try. This time I'm ready to dethrone the Mad King once and for all. That's a great little pep talk though. And next time we shall do just that. But for now, that is definitely going to do it for me. So, we got two of them in there today. Two maps that I... Well, okay. One map that I like a lot. And one map that I can tolerate. I think you know which one is which. All that said, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. Else me out. Let me know your thoughts as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.